Hello, this is Taro and welcome to another Figma Friday. Today we will be building a little animation using Figma's internal prototyping tool and we will be using it in a creative way to achieve the result that I am showing you here. What we are doing basically is using the same technique that you would use to animate a character frame by frame. But we are wiring it up uh, on the background in a way that uh, will help you to have more control on the final animation that you want, that, that you will produce basically. Um, so we are not doing anything different here. What I have set up is uh, different frames uh, each one of these frames has a, a, a number it, it was labeled that way uh, I think that I might need to fix the, the name of some of these so these frames are not just uh, Figma frames they are also frames that uh, make up my animation so um, the first thing that I will do is to choose the change Figma into the prototyping mode and as you can see uh, what I did here was basically drag the little circle that I have here and connect it into the next frame so what this is doing is that whenever I click on the on the star it navigates to the next frame and the next frame and so on until it reaches the end of my frame. But uh, Figma has certain tools that will help me to make this animation uh, work. And uh, what I can do here is first I will change the trigger for the animation. And as you can see right now, I have the on click setting but I can choose to um, play the transition after a certain delay and uh, if I play this animation right here you will notice and let me restart that real quick you will, you will notice that it takes uh, after uh, 800 milliseconds it automatically goes into the new frame so I can make that a little bit uh, faster and I will choose 16 milliseconds right here. Now, I want you to notice that we have the instant animation set up right here and that will be very important. So we can think of this technique uh, as the same technique that the, they used when they are doing um, stop motion. Basically, each one of these frames is one step of our full animation and in order to, for, for it to have the effect uh, that, that we want to achieve, I will leave that setting just as a, you know, the, just as um, an instant animation. So I have already all my stars connected using the same technique I showed you earlier, but I will change now the settings of one of uh, one, uh, each one of these. Notice that I am making sure that, to, that all transitions have exactly the same values. That is to ensure that the, my eye is not catching uh, the changes that are, that we have between the different the different stars that make up my animation and also this is a very simple animation all I am doing is making it grow and shrink uh, nothing really fancy but uh, I find this to be a nice way to uh, practice your um, prototyping skills in a different way or I, I'd say in a, in a creative way. So what I might make sure that all my uh, my transitions have the same settings. I might come 
up with uh, some troubles like uh, the, like here you can see that I have my uh, uh, when I choose the, the, the interaction that uh, will trigger uh, this uh, transition from frame 13 to this star called frame 12 <laughs> um, you will see that I, uh, that my after delay um, option is uh, activated so I want to make sure to actually connect the two frames so let me just select this frame right here and I will make sure to have the other frame selected I will come back uh, to, to this after I finish setting up all the other ones also I want you to notice that um, uh, this is probably uh, not the fastest way to set up an anim animation I know that there are some plugins that you can use to animate on Figma but what I'm doing here is more like an exercise exercise of using the tools that we have in a creative way rather than uh, ra rather than building a, a, a full um, I don't know like a rigged character or, or a full rigged uh, animation or something like that this is just a simple technique that I found find funny to do but uh, this will be useful as well when you have a micro interaction that you want your developer to implement and you want to showcase how that interaction will look once it's been properly implemented and when you are setting up the assets for for your developer it will be necessary as well to have all the frames in your sprite properly set up so this is very useful and i think that twitter used to do something like that and some of their micro interactions uh in the past i've used it as well when building some some product i want to know why this why this transition is keeping showing me some troubles so let me figure this out real quick mm -hmm. i can also uh, keep monitoring how my uh, animation is going when i am uh, playing a prototype i can easily press r to restart the animation and if you look i have some uh, i have achieved a little nice effect right there so uh, all i want right now is to uh, do it twice to make it do it twice as, as the initial um as the initial animation that i i created for you Okay, I figured it out. So you can have multiple transitions between, between your frames. And once you have a transition set up for a certain um, interaction, you can no longer choose that same interaction. So what I did was uh, delete the interaction I had already set. And now I'm changing this into 16 milliseconds. And just as a nice little effect, I want to trigger the full animation, not with a delay, but with a click. So now I have my animation set up and I can test it right here. So this is the first frame. And if I click here, I will trigger the full animation. Hmm. It seems like I'm missing uh, uh, um, the proper the proper setup for a frame so let's check that real quick right here this should be an after delay transition
Right, let's test it once again. There we go. So that will be it for this Figma Friday episode. Remember to uh, like this video if, if you liked it and leave a comment uh, if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel as well. Uh, thank you very much and have a great week.